I want to ask you a question. How do you know if the church you are is the right one? Okay, there's a woman here. Good morning, church. Yes, with me, it will start first with the, with the leader of the church. His humbleness will tell me that this is the right church. And uh, the teachings, because I learned again from the man of God, our senior prophet, T.B. Joshua, he would always tell, tell us that always read the Bible, you will not be cheated. Okay, madam. Good morning, church. Like the scriptures would indicate, whatever happens we saw happen in the Bible, in genuine churches of God, you'll see the same thing that happened in the Bible taking place. Thank you. Sir? Uh, good morning, church. For, for you to see whether it's a right church or not, God himself must reveal to you this, this is my church. For, for example, if, if, you, if you want to know if, for example, whether a man of God is a true servant of God, if you ask God, he will tell you, this is my, um, my servant. Thank you. Uh -huh. Th thank you so much. Um, I will recognize that the church is in line with God's principles by one thing. Uh, Everything that is done in the place is done in accordance with the word of God. Okay, my brother, we cross with you. According to me, when you arrive the church where there is truth, first of all is the word of God. The word of God, if it's preached there, it should go straight to your heart. Uh, I can give an example so that people, they can understand. When I reach there, then what is preached is what I'm doing, and I'm doing something wrong. And the man of God in the pulpit, he goes straight there. My heart deep inside will respond, and okay, it will okay, correspond okay, with the okay, word. Okay, okay, The right church is a place where sin is not tolerated. There may be no miracle, but if you are there, there is no miracle, but you are living a sinless life, you are sick, and not healed but the life you are seeing you are living is righteous living you will enter the kingdom of God at last though you lived with a sickness another man may be healed miracle but live a life which is sinful do you think that because he was healed, that will permit him into the kingdom? We don't look at the right church, wrong church, by miracle. Because Satan has counterfeit miracle. Which it takes God's gift of discernment to figure out. Jesus said, in that day, many will come and say, in your name, I cast out demons. But he said, I don't know you. But the demons were cast out. But I don't know you. You evil doer. You see, he classified the people he's talking about. You evil doer. Don't camouflage by casting demons out. Because that is not the ticket to enter the kingdom. In your name, 
I heal the sick. Jesus will say, I don't know you. You evil doer. Though you heal the sick, but you are an evil doer. See, Jesus meets this man at the pool there. The man was invalid. So what can I do for you? The man started telling stories. Every time I want to get to hear somebody enter before me, the Lord had no time. So please, my brother, take your mat, stand up, walk, go. The man, the miracle happened. The Lord now met him at the church. He said, my brother, you see you are well again. Go and stop sinning. This is the criteria. This is the standard of the church of God. Go and stop sinning. Otherwise, something worse will happen. But go and stop sinning. Sin is unwanted. These people, they bring a prostitute to the Lord. They said they caught her in the act. The Lord look at them, look at the woman. Okay, no problem. See what these people are doing. According to the law of Moses, such a woman, we must stone her to death. No problem. No problem. No problem. If any one of you here has not committed sin, please be the first to pick the stone. Hit the woman. Kill her. When they think about, when they thought about themselves, they say, hey, we've done a lot. They started disappearing one by one until the woman was left alone. The Lord looked at her and said, look, neither do I condemn you. I'm not here to condemn you. But go and repent. Do not promote. He did not just say, your, accus your accusers are gone. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are saved from death, right? But go and change your ways. Stop this nonsense, church of God. Being in the church and continue to dance and swim in the pool of iniquity is but a waste of time. Because the same problem, trouble, you were delivered from because of that habit, because of that sin. Out, you are now out of it, delivered. You continue to do the same thing. You will get back to the same trouble once more. Be delivered again continue living a life of sin which brought about the troubles you were the same problems will be invited by the sin you are committing where are you going your sickness is a result of the sin you committed you get healed of the sickness But you are not preached the word of truth. And you go back and do the same things you did in the past. And get the same sickness again or different or another problem because of the sin you are committing. And look for another church to be delivered again. My brother, my sister, my mother, my father, where are you going? The church of God is a place where sin is never entertained. Sinners are not condemned in Jesus. But sin can never be entertained. Jesus the Christ loves sinners but hate sin he hated he died for sinners but he hate the sin 
You know why I'm asking this question? Because that is your struggle. Knowing the church of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.